Hey coaches, uh, welcome back uh, to uh, Coach Parker with CoachParker.org. I uh, hope you've been well. It's been a while since I've done a video. But I uh, got a question here the other day on the book, uh, my Power Wing Beast offense, which uh, will be completed by June 19th for full version one. Uh, it's a uh, great little offensive system that I've been running since 1994. But uh, you can pick up a beta draft copy right now for just uh, $14.99 up until about June 19th when the price will increase um, and to $24.99. But uh, it's a digital book. You can pick it up right now. I'm updating every Friday with updates. And then, of course, January, uh, excuse me, June 19th, the book will go up to $24.99. So get one while you can while it's uh, uh, at a discounted price uh, while I finish up some minor edits. Uh, but today I wanted to talk about the question that I got on play adjustments and uh, and how you can adjust plays for blocking calls, offensive line overloads, and so forth. And so I don't want to get too complicated, but this is an advanced video for some of you. Uh, and if you're not ready for it, at least it will give you some ideas of what you can do with some of the plays. Just so you know how the play is called and kind of the algorithm or terminology of how I call plays and uh, let's go through it. So you might hear something like this, beast left, big left, two mo, 17 power tank jaw on pirate. That basically tells you the whole play. I do have nicknames and shorter versions for plays to help out on risk coaches and so forth once everybody understands what the play is. And uh, so we get to that eventually. But when you're first learning the play and going through it, you might want to call it all so everybody knows kind of where they're going. And I know a lot of coaches, this is a lot of information there, but I've even had some plays longer if I'm trying to tell a specific back that can't remember his plays, where he goes. Um, and so, uh, yeah, so let's go through it. So the first play of the call is the formation, and you can see Beast left. And then part of that formation, because I've overloaded the line, is this big left. So there you go for that. Then there's a motion set in the series, so it's like a it's like a two mo. Uh, then there's the motion, uh, and then the back number. The type of play is a power tank or a power dive, and then the blocking pattern, and then the cadence. And so you can see it's all made up there. Now. As you can see on the next, uh, well, you'll see eventually on the next slide, I just call it Beast Left Tank because we've run it so much, but uh, you can see the, the, you know, the long part of the, uh, the actually play call right there. Now, some of the adjustments that you can make within the play call or update your play call based on what an opposing team is doing for you are a lot of different things. You can certainly go right or left. I mean, that's a formation thing, and that's very simple. But then you can go under center, which this play was an under center, or you could call a shotgun. You could call a squat gun, which is kind of the Dave Caesar, where you're squatting halfway between what a shotgun and under the center is. And then we have a thing, and we don't call it, but if you wanted to, it's a shifted shotgun where the uh, beast backs uh, if we have a short-sided side of the line, they, they shift over behind the guard. Uh, then you've got an offensive line, which they can be an even set, which uh, unless in each of the formation has its own standard set, so you don't have to call it all the time. But there's an even set, big right or left. There's a wedge set. There's a flip set. So if you have a power side of your line and you always want them to flip over, it's called flip. And then if you have like two power tackles that you want to run on a counter or have two particular guys go to one side, uh, like the guard and the tackle and not show the tight end, or maybe it's the tight end and the tackle, uh, you could call that tough. And I've used that in the past a few times. There is different, you know, the thing about why we've separated our blocking calls from the actual play is that we can block a play differently based on the opposing play uh, opponent and what teams may be doing within the game, especially during halftime, to adjust. 
So, you know, we have a play, but it may switch. You know, we may be blocking a sweep, Roger, and then decide to go Larry on the next sweep to kind of give it a maybe a zone feel where you're blocking toward the sweep. So those are some things you can do with blocking. If you're going to throw a pull in there, uh, we've got sloppy tackles and nasty tight end gap splits that we can do. We can send the wing back to a wide receiver. Uh, there's a mouse and a motion kind of thing, especially on the beast and beast wedge. There's a backdoor block that just tells one of the backs to go back door. And of course there's audibles once you check at the line of scrimmage. So those are all the type of play adjustments that you can do. And I just kind of want to go through all those to let you know that you can do a lot of different things to a single play within the terminology to make people move around to adjust a play so that so the opponent doesn't really know well what exactly is going on or to adjust the blocking because they've overloaded or done something on defense. So these are some things that you can start thinking about on how to adjust one of the offensive plays in the power be wing beast offense. So here's, you know, the beast left tank. Uh, you can see it's a beast tight formation He's because he's under center. That's the standard, you know, this is the beast tight. This is the standard grouping in the beast tight. Uh, big left, here's the overloaded. That's also a standardized thing in the beast tight formation. And that's reason why you just have beast left in this short name here. Because this beast left, they all know that that's the standard formation for beast. It's in a tank. So, and then you've got 17 power. There's the one back going through the hole there off the tackle tank is the nickname for this place that everybody know and the jaw block is telling everybody to inside track block and on this play you may be wondering what the tight ends doing here on the beast play one of the interesting things about the beast play is we use this back this play side tight end to act as a bowling ball to really severe angle block on his tank to try to roll all those offensive players over and so that's what's going on there. Uh, and thanks to the, one of the coaches caught one of my graphs where I had the guard in the center going one way. So whoever that coach was, thank. And you can see the updated chart here. So that's the beast left tank. And we'll, we'll be talking about this as kind of the standard play to adjust. And not everything applies to this play. But since this is my main play that I love, I'll be adjusting a lot of this and so you you can see okay so the first formation change is just is it right or left so there's the beast right tank and you can see how the power side here the beast side which we call it just the beast side they all the beasts and that's what we call them because if we score on this beast in the beast play that's a tight play or a wedge they get touchdown stickers for it and the linemen go crazy because they know it's their play so this is the beast side here. Those are all the beasts. Here's the other beast, and they're in the right, as you can see it. So this is that beast side there, and uh, it's the same play again. So that's the simple thing. The next is what you can do with the quarterback, because it really helps out if you're passing out of it or you're sweeping, especially out of the tight, because in worm, which is beast wide, Really, the quarterback is automatically in the shotgun. And beast tight, he's automatically under center. But you can see here, I've, I've got it set up where he's in a gun at first. And it's actually a shifted gun because you've got the two short-sighted guys back here. We try to get him over. So, and you've got to make sure your center can do this. And we work with them to make sure that they can do that. He would hold the ball here and shoot it out. Um, that he's kind of shifted over a little bit so he gets to the play side quickly and not having to worry about this backside blocking as much uh, and there should be a block there so uh that's the gun right here okay uh and that's the shifted gun squat is this one 
where it's the kind of the Dave Caesar where they're down like a short stop, their fingers are touching the ground, his head's just a little bit above the center's butt, and he's about halfway between uh, what the quarterback, uh, what you would be in a shotgun versus under center, and we, and I call that a squat. Uh, and you, and I do have the gun over here, which is this one, and then this is the gun. Uh, I haven't used this too much in the past because I just tell the guys to do it, but I put this in there for you guys to know that you've got a regular gun, which is here. You've got the Geo gun over, which is here, and then you've got the SWAT, and then you've got UC, which is uh, under center. So those are the four places you could possibly put your your running back, beast back, quarterback, whatever you want to call that particular back. I just call it the beast back. So that's uh, another thing that you can you can do with that. So let's uh, let's keep going here. Uh, so so we've got just the beast play here, and let's talk about uh, let's talk about the. Well, let's just go to a blank page here. So. Um, You've got blocking calls that you can do. You've got, let's say, you've got this beast over here with with uh, this right here. You know, you, you, you've seen the jaw where everybody's inside blocking. But if you just wanted to go Roger, which you can do for blocking, they would just all basically right block instead of having these guys inside block. The reason that I don't do that too much now, Roger block, unless I we teach them to step inside, is this gap right here as the center snaps will get bigger. And that's sometimes a bad gap on that particular play. So you've got to be really careful when you Roger block and Larry block is this gap between the center and the two guards getting really big because the center is a little slower on his takeoff. And so you can block that Roger. Uh, you could block it wedge. Uh, where you're going to wedge on this, the guard here. And then make a wedge. You could definitely decide I'm going to block this Larry, because they've, they've got all these def defenders out here, so you can block it this way, kind of as a zone, and have your back kind of try to read up in there. Uh, and then uh, on some play, you could definitely go to even line set, and let's just uh, erase all that. So you could go to an even line set and set it up, and that's what we do sort of on the wedge, but I have a different wedge set where I move my tackles here, which is an even, and the guards are here. So you could have an even wedge set, which is right there, and you could beast left, and there's the even set. Uh, so that's how you could do that. Um, you can have... Uh, so that's how you can adjust some of the blocking calls there. It's pretty easy and how the line sets up. You can actually, let's say, out of the beast left formation tank, you're getting a lot of pressure here. You could have the, the K Knight pull here and block. Everybody's blocking down, have the center fill. So you could call a, a beast uh, left tank jaw with a K pull block. You could do that. You can also then, if you wanted to, uh, tell your uh, text uh, tight end to go sloppy. So he'd move out of here and then go down. You'd have kind of a slot sitting there because a, a, a nasty uh, or a, a nasty split is right here. Uh, you can have sloppy tackle, which gives you a big split between the tackle. So you'd have uh, guard, tackle, big split here, and you'd have a guy like that. So you could do a lot of th you can do a lot of things by having those different type of calls. You can then uh, set your wing back. To a wide receiver so you got your beast guys here 
Here your guys, your wing back would be there. You could split him out here and run him on a pass as a wide receiver now. So you can adjust it like that. You can tell, let's see, you went in, let's say you went into gun here, you and you're gonna throw a pass. You could tell this guy to go back door. And then of course you've got you've got your audibles. So like I said, there's a lot of ways to adjust the play based on our, our standard terminology. And that's the thing about the system with, with uh, the, you know, it's a multiple formation playbook. Uh, the power wing beast offense is with, uh, you know, you got a beast single wing, you've got some double wing spread concepts, and you've got some power eye, uh, uh, offset eye concepts. And with all of those, you have all of the same terminology to be able to adjust plays to do certain things better or to adjust them to make your opposing defense wonder what the heck is going on uh, with that formation or adjust it uh, to be able to better block their particular defense. So don't get stuck in uh, if you see like in the playbook you'll see the play with the the number one blocking scheme I usually use on that particular play but remember you can probably use on each play two or three different blocking schemes based on what the defense is doing and adjust the even line to a big line to a wedge line to a nasty or a sloppy tackle put somebody in motion, go from shotgun or under center based on their guard rush, or even to a squat or a shifted center. So there's so many different things that you can do. You just need to remember those things and not get hung up on, oh, I've got a God block on every play. And and, and this came to me, I guess, about 2010 when I was coaching in select here in, in Texas. Uh, our O-line was having a lot of trouble. Uh, with sweep plays, and I decided instead of blocking away from the sweep, we started them blocking with the sweep, and that's how Larry and Roger kind of got involved. And I had a tackle who would call that uh, at the line of scrimmage based on how the linebackers were lined up, and it really started working. And so we, so not only with the fact that I thought these are different blocking calls, but I learned that the offensive line were smarter players and could pick up a lot of this different stuff, and so we could block things differently. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not changing every game a lot of these blocking calls and things, but if you get into a situa situation, you can. So that's the way to look at it. But I just wanted to show you how the play call was set up what you can do with the play call to adjust the play and go through all that. So I hope it's not been too confusing. If it has, let me know, and I'll try to come back and update that a little bit. But that is how you can adjust the play in the Power Wing Beast Offense uh, playbook for youth football. Uh, again, this is Coach Parker. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on. Also, leave me a comment because I love your feedback. You can subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'll During uh, this off season and coming up in the fall, I do a lot more videos, especially since I've got the book written. So uh, you should be seeing a lot more videos. Share the video with your coaches uh, if you think uh, they would get some in input out of that. You can shop my store. I get a percentage of sales there, which helps me continue uh, making, excuse me, free videos. Uh, definitely buy my books. Uh, the, uh, the books are complimentary uh, to the videos and the videos back and forth. So uh, definitely check out the books. I've got a defensive book and an offensive book. And then hopefully December, I'll have a general coaching uh, special teams drill book out. So I'll have three books out then. Uh, and if you'd like to, you can also donate. There's a button down there that you can donate to also. But uh, hey, once again, this is Coach Parker with CoachParker.org. Thanks for tuning in and remember to play for fun and winning is funner. Thanks a lot. See you. Ciao.